Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Survival Challenge. It is uh, October, late in the day. It's almost time for us to sleep. I've just finished planting this field in oats because we're going to need some some sort of grain to make flour with and oats grow very quickly. The yield is good. So we're going to use oats to make flour. And um, before we sleep tonight, we are going to put in a donut factory. And the reason I'm going to put in a donut factory is because it only costs twenty thousand dollars. We have all the ingredients for donuts that we need to get started so we can start making donuts tonight while we sleep. And it will pay for itself very quickly. And it's really easy just to, to put things in the donut factory and make donuts and sell the donuts and make a good profit. And it will continue to go. So I think I'm going to put it right here. There it is right there. We're just going to put it right here next to our mill. I want to make sure that I have enough room to get between the mill and the donut shop and still have room to work that field there. I think I'm going to turn it to face the road a little more. I think it's just a little more room. That looks like a good place. There's our donut factory. We still have enough room to maneuver around. We didn't need to cut any trees, which we'll need to do pretty soon. We're going to need some money for the beer factory. But um, I thought this was a good kind of kind of fill in production until we get enough money to start making beer. It, it We already have everything we need, so it was real easy to spend 20 grand and put that in. Let's go ahead and get our... Get everything turned on and making donuts. Turn that on. We are going to go to flour and we're going to distribute that. We're going to distribute our sugar. And then we're going to spend just a little more money over here at the chicken coop and it'll make life a lot easier in the long run. We are going to put in the automatic selling of animal products. And it will automatically sell animal products, but we're going to use it to automatically distribute animal products. And we're going to use it to send our eggs over to the mill. And that's it right there. It's 500 bucks. And all you have to do is just get the the spawn areas to line up or get the spawn area inside of the the spawn area for this production here I'm going to turn it just a little bit kind of as far back as we can get it there and there it is I'm going to jump out here and you'll see It's loading our eggs into the into the production. I'm gonna put one more in there. I'm gonna set it to distribute. It should be down at the bottom here. Yep, there it is. And we're gonna set those to distribute. And then I'm gonna take this last one and just go put it in the donut factory. And then at the top of the hour, it will fill up all the ingredients needed for donuts, and it will start making them. All right, very good. So we've set it, we're going to forget it, and maybe by tomorrow evening, we'll have some donuts to sell. And we'll make our 20 grand back pretty darn quick. Yep, all the automatic lights are coming on. So it's time to sleep. See you guys in the morning. 
Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's November. Let's see if we have any donuts yet. Yes, yes, we do. We have quite a few donuts, actually. What we don't have is flour. So I think first thing we're going to do this morning is I'm going to jump in the tractor and I'm going to fill this trailer with sorghum. And I'm going to fill up the chicken coop first. And then I'm going to put the rest of the sorghum in the flour mill and make some more flour. The chickens should be pretty close to full. We fed them not too long ago. We have another sorghum field growing. So we'll have food for the chickens. Actually, no, we don't have a sorghum field growing. We have a barley field growing and we're growing that for beer. So today we're going to plant one of our two fields in sorghum. I hope it doesn't take too much of this. Yeah, I didn't think it would. So chickens are full. We're going to put the rest of this in our flour production. I'm going to go ahead and set that up to make some sorghum flour. We might as well turn these off. And we can turn that off too. We don't have any more sugar beets. But we do have more sugar. That's good. We're making more flour. We've got some olive oil we can sell. And we have some grape juice we can sell. So we're going to sell things at the end of the day today. We're going to have plenty of things to sell. At some point, I also need to take some grass out of the silo and put it into the fermenter. And make some more silage. I don't know that we're going to get any sheep anytime soon, which is kind of what I was saving grass for. But there's no reason to save grass if we don't have anything to feed it to. And I think maybe this is not quite the right map for sheep. I mean, it is. You could easily do sheep on this map. I'm not saying that. It's just... I, I think with the other productions we currently have and the way things are going, I think um, I think sheep is probably not the direction we want to go in right now. You know, I could go ahead and just plant into those weeds, but I think I'm going to spend a little time and plow both of these fields. If I plow both of these fields, then we won't have to worry about weeds in those fields at all. And the one that had sugar beets in it really needs to be really needs to be plowed anyway. So we're going to take the time, we're going to plow both of these fields and then we're going to seed both of these fields. One of them, the one that used to have sugar beets in it, we're going to seed that with sorghum. And then the other field we're going to put sugar beets in because we really need both of those things right now. I'm going to turn my help menu on real quick. Yeah, I am not currently in create fields mode, which is good. I don't want to be in create fields mode.
All right, that's two fields plowed. Two fields we won't have to worry about weeds in. So we do have more field work to do today, but I think we're going to take a little break at the moment. And we're going to sell some things. I feel like taking a little trip to town. We're going to go ahead and convert our trailer into a flat bed. We should be able to do that right here. All right, let's go pick up our grape juice and our olive oil. I think we have a good load of that. And we may also have a full donut shop. It looked like it was getting pretty close to full before. We may go ahead and just let those spawn all the time. And when we have a full spawn area, we'll just take them to town. We got one container of pig food. So we'll go ahead and load that up. And then let's set grape juice to spawn and olive oil to spawn. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and take this. And after we sell this, we may just go ahead and buy another one of these trailers. That would give us two trailers for, for carrying stuff like this. And it would give us tw over 20,000 liters of grain carrying capability. So... Rather than buy a larger trailer at this point, or a dedicated flatbed at this point, I think it's probably better if we just spend just the tiny bit of money that these trailers cost and double our capacity for hauling. Alright, I'll see you guys over there. Well, Tesco has the best price for olive oil. The Sell Everything has the best price for grape juice, but we'll make more money if we sell at the Tesco. The price for grape juice isn't that much higher at the Sell Everything, so we're just going to sell it all at the Tesco. It's very difficult to try to sell things on the same trailer at two different places, especially if both places... Well, when both places buy both items. That wasn't terribly clear, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Man, look at those things twitch. Don't know why this twitch is so bad. It's like it's alive. Look at the pallet sliding off of it. So I don't know if the, I guess the grape juice is too high. Tesco must not buy pig food. All right, that's okay.
All right, we'll sell the pig food at the sell everything. Uh, donuts will also be sold at the sell everything. So our next load, we should be able to get everything into the sell everything container. I'm going to go ahead and have that other trailer delivered out here. Just easier that way. All right, we'll see if we need the second trailer right now. We're going to end up buying it at one at some point just because we're going to need it one day. But if we don't need it today, there's really no reason to buy it today. So let's see what happens when our donuts spawn. Actually, let's pick up all this grape juice first. I think it's the oil that makes the trailer so unstable. No, I noticed that when uh, FS22 was originally released uh, and oil was a brand new product, I, I noticed that it, it made your trailer do wacky things. I, I flipped over a lot of trailers when I first started hauling around oil. So... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it sure seems like it makes your trailer do funny things. All right, let's spawn some donuts. There's... Well... Oh, that's not true. Oi. All right. All right, we're using loading method stack. We're going to try loading method layer. So we change that to layer. Load those up. All right. But it didn't load the last two pallets of donuts. Seriously, come on. I'm putting those last two pallets of donuts on there. I know it's making my trailer slide around like we're on ice. And it's doing that thing where it just knocks stuff out of your hands. Because it doesn't like that you're putting an extra pallet on a trailer with room for an extra pallet. Oh, Lord. All right, I am unloading all of this. I'm getting the extra trailer. And of course it won't unload that last pallet because it wasn't officially loaded. That's a little silly.
All right, now we got a train. Let me get it on the right trailer. Okay. Very good. Some donuts or some grape juice back here. Hopefully that'll be much less likely to overturn. I guess we'll see. I'll meet you there, unless I overturn, and then I'll let you see that. Well, we didn't overturn, but we are heading up the big hill. And I was wondering if we were going to have issues on this hill. I don't normally have any issues until I get close to the top. But we are starting to slow down a lot sooner than we normally do. We'll see if we can make it. If we can't, then I can unhook one of the trailers and come back and get it. Or we may just slow almost all the way down and crawl up the hill. We are almost out of fuel, too. And we need repairs. Actually, the repairs may be the trailer. I don't think I'm going to worry a whole lot about repairing a trailer. As long as it tips, what else do you need it to do? Well, it got us down to three miles an hour, but we made it up the hill. Nice. All right, I want to see how much we make just off the donuts. So I'm going to park off to the side here, and I'm going to pull the, uh, the grape juice off by itself. Actually, no, I'll just take the grape juice over to the Tesco because the Tesco doesn't buy donuts. So I'll sell the grape juice over there. You get a better price anyway. Actually, no, I think I get a better price at the sell everything, but this will be easier. And I think it was something like $10 per thousand liters. So I, I've only got 4,000 liters there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Actually, I only have 1,728 liters. These must be 500 liter pallets with one pallet not being complete. Yep, they don't take donuts, but they take grape juice. Man, look at that trailer just dancing. And as soon as the grape juice is gone, it stops wiggling. Huh. Anyway, we made $2,897, almost $2,900 there on those four pellets of grape juice. Not bad. We probably need to put some water in our greenhouses. I haven't even thought about that in months. I'll check those when we get back and make sure we've got enough water in them. All right, let's see how much we make for donuts. Because remember, we spent $20,000 on the factory.
$15,405 on the first production run. So we made three quarters of our money back. Not bad at all. Alright, I'm going to park our little wagon train over here. I'm going to go check and make sure that we have water in our productions. I haven't checked that in a long time. All right, we're going to call that good. Plenty of water in there until I remember it next time. Going to need to hit that with some herbicide at some point in the near future. But right now, I want to get these two fields seeded so that they are not sitting idle for very long. Right, this is our last little bit here last little strip of sugar beets both of these fields are a great size for sugar beet fields so we'll just keep rotating back and forth between them we'll grow sorghum in one and sugar beets in the other and then swap again you can see I got a little confused there in the middle I uh, I forgot that I was doing a survival challenge and that I didn't have a multi-fruit seeder <laughs> that would plant every crop in the game so I came over here and I was confused why I couldn't plant sugar beets with my seeder and then I remembered that I had an actual planter to plant sugar beets with but we got it all straightened out I was almost out of gas too so I put in a tank there and now we can buy diesel I only got a thousand liters of diesel. I don't know how fast we'll go through it, but I figured that was enough to begin with. But I think that that's where we're going to end this episode today. We got a lot done. We have a new production. We have some fields seeded. Uh, we are we're making good progress, and we still have one hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars. So. I'm very pleased with where we are. We will continue, and one day we're going to have a million dollars. 
But for today, we're going to call that an episode. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this video, please post a comment and let me know why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.